Hey guys, uh, I got a new video for you today. Uh, this is going to be um, actually a little review on on something that one of my subscribers asked and they wanted to see a video on. Uh, but I'm actually going to try and uh, and fit two requests into this particular video. Um, one of them is going to be a, a review, and the other one's going to be uh, more of a show and tell. Um, the first one is going to be a um, a quick comparison between the um, Oakley Jawbone and the Oakley Flat Jacket. Apparently, the um, the Jawbone is one of those glasses that's kind of hard for anybody to find um, in their particular area, especially if you don't have an actual Oakley store near you. Um, and like as I keep saying in all my videos, I recommend that you try on any pair of glasses or you know anything that you you know go buy before you buy it. Uh, try it out, you know, just to make sure that you're gonna like it or it's gonna fit you right, or it's gonna look right. Um, especially especially when it comes to sunglasses. So um, unfortunately, since these are a little bit hard to find, you know, there's some people that wanted to see maybe a size comparison uh, to maybe something that's that they are able to find or they've been able to try on. And you know, I guess the flat jacket is, is one of those that is that's more readily available. So basically, when you purchase them, um, both models they come with these uh, these hard cases, both the flat jacket and the jawbone. Um, it's pretty sturdy, which is good. It keeps them, it keeps them um, well protected. It also comes with um, with these slots because they they do have uh, replaceable lenses, so you can fit the extra lenses on there. Uh, this isn't the exact case for this. This is actually a case for uh, my half jackets. Um, I don't know what I did the case for my flat jackets, but um, and then they're gonna they're gonna bring a, a micro bag. And uh, just a quick tip, if you guys don't know, um, they do they they make different sizes of micro bags. And um, this is a small and this is a medium. And besides, you know, obviously the size, um, you can tell by the, um, the cord. If you guys can see, it's black on, on the small, it's white on the medium. So if you guys have a bunch of these like I do, I probably have over 50 of these. Um, you know, it's easy to tell, you know, if you're trying to grab one or the other, you know, the ones that are going to fit the glasses. So also, um, the micro bag is what Oakley recommends you use to clean your lenses. And I definitely, definitely highly recommend that you, that you do that. Uh, just because it won't scratch the lenses, so you know, I I always carry mine in the bag, or I always have extra bags near me. Um, like I said, it comes in this case, and uh, the cases come uh, already cut out, so you can you know you can fit them in there really nicely, uh, and they're pretty sturdy, so it'll it'll definitely protect them. So here's the um, here's the flat jacket, and like I said, the uh, the jawbone also comes in that case. Um, the the main difference is. Um, with the with the micro bag on the jawbone is um, you know it's it's actually a bag that's designed specifically for the jawbones, and besides having that, it actually has a little compartment inside of it to fit the extra lenses. Um, so as you can see there, um, it says uh, lens pocket. So that's pretty cool. It's still a microfiber bag. They're all gonna bring um, replaceable nose pieces also. Um, I don't I didn't since that since that wasn't the case for the flat jackets. You know I don't have it in there, but I do have those. Uh, they're gonna bring an extra set of nose pieces, and um, the jawbones do come equipped with a, an extra pair of lenses when you purchase them. So for the price, you actually two uh, you get two lenses, which is pretty cool. Um, and then these are the jawbones. Um, specifically, size-wise, um, you're going to see the jawbone is is obviously a um, a bigger frame. Um, it's a bigger lens also. It's also a full frame all the way around in comparison to the flat jacket that is that's only it's only half a frame. Uh, they both do have hydrophobic coating on the lenses, so um, you're going to get that with either or. Um, the one thing that you will get with the jawbone is, um, in this, like in this case, um, my black iridium lenses here are vented, so it has those vents on the top and on the bottom. And what that does is it allows for constant airflow, so they won't fog. Um, since since these are sports specific glasses, um, you know, especially when you're like biking or running, you know, heavy breathing, you don't want you know you don't want your glasses to fog. So that's that's what that's for. Um, you do get some models that don't have the vents, um, and again, that's more of a personal preference or a personal choice, depending on what you're going to be using them for. Um, as far as the the fit, it's going to be pretty similar, even though they're so big, and it's because they both have pretty much the same angle of wrap around your head, as you guys can see there. Um, a lot of people uh, tend to prefer going with something more like this than the jawbones because they feel that it looks um, uh, a little alienish the frame just because of how it's cut up cut out I particularly like the the way this frame is designed just because it gives you really good coverage all the way around your eyes um, you're not gonna get any uh, any sunlight on the bottom either 
It's not to say that you're gonna that that's gonna happen with the flat jackets, but um, it's always good to have that capability to have that extra um, piece of uh, a frame on the bottom to help to help you from uh, you know t from getting glare in there. Um, this particular one is the uh, standard lens. The flat jackets do, do come with two sizes, and I unfortunately actually you know what one second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, just wanted to grab another pair. Um, this is my other pair that I unfortunately haven't worn yet, but with the uh, polarized lenses. And this has the uh, XLJ lens, or the extra large lens, um, just so you guys can see. Uh, it's a little bit longer and more squared off at the bottom. This one's kind of rounded. Um, and again, with this, it's more personal preference. It comes down lower uh, on, the, uh, on your face. Uh, towards your cheeks, so you know, depending on on your the frame of your face or what you're going to be using them for, you know, you get to pick and choose what uh, what style you wear. But um, both of these glasses are 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 very very comfortable. They have the rubber on the ears and on the nose, uh, just like the jawbone here. Um, you know, to replace the lenses is very easy with the flat jackets. They just pop right out. They've got this uh, these little hooks on the side that hook right into um, into them, and then just pop right in. With the jawbone, it's um, it's a little bit different. You just pull the nose piece out, like that the arm swivel swivels out, and then you replace the lenses on those. Um, Size-wise, it's going to be a like I said, it's going to be a little bit different, just because of um, of how how thick and round this frame is um, on on the fit. But as you can see, the um, the legs are pretty similar in width, and like I said, it's going to be um, pretty pretty same uh, you know. It's going to wrap around your head pretty much the same way. So um, they're very, very comfortable. Um, I was actually wearing the jawbones yesterday for about seven hours all day, and I didn't even feel them. Um, I, you know, also if you're one, you know one of those people that after you're wearing glasses, maybe when you go inside, you put them on your head or whatever, they're going to be pretty comfortable. It's not going to be um, gripping on your head and maybe leaving marks and stuff like that. Same thing with the flat jacket. Um, the flat jacket is pretty comfortable. They have really good, uh, really good give. Um, all of these frames are sport specific. They're designed to, to be flexible. Um, you know, to in case you step on them, they're not going to break. You know, they they have no metal hinges, so it's just going to snap right back in there. Uh, the only metal piece that this would have would, would actually be the bolt right there. Um, so this one, you know, this that does have, the, the job one does have a piece of metal on it. Uh, it's just because of the nature of how, of how it's done. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, but they are, you know, sports specific. They're pretty rugged, which is good. So, um, you know, that's uh, they're definitely very, very comfortable. Um, I would suggest if, um, if you're kind of iffy about purchasing uh, the jawbones uh, and you're leaning more towards the um, the flat jackets but you kind of like the um, the design of the jawbones so you, but you think it's too big uh, try the split jacket that's actually a new model that came out it's very very similar to the you know to the jawbone as far as in, in uh, the way it works and how it opens to change the lenses and whatnot but um, it's a little bit smaller more square fit so or square look to it I'm sorry um, so you know if you can check those out check that one out okay uh, real quick before I, I run out of time, um, there was another request to, to show some of my cheaper glasses. And I really hate using that word when it comes to, to glasses or gear or anything. Um, so I'm going to say these are some of my more affordable glasses. Um, just a, a couple of comparisons. And these are the ones that I would recommend uh, for everyday use that fit the majority of the uh, of people's frames out there. Um, it's going to be the Monster Dogs, the Gas Can, and the Fives. Um, all these glasses, um, the five start about seventy dollars. The gas cans and the monster dogs start about ninety, and that's for a non iridium, which is a, a lens without the mirror coating on it. Um, but you can get something really, really nice for a hundred bucks. Um, either one of these with an iridium lens with the mirror coating, uh, or for ninety dollars, um, you know, for 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 this one, or or eighty or ninety around there. So definitely very, very affordable, very stylish, very rugged, not sports specific. Uh, if you want something sports specific, I, I would say maybe go with something like the flat jackets. But uh, unfortunately, those start at about 150 bucks. But uh, for these, um, these are very you know very stylish and uh, great everyday glasses. Um, this is what I would definitely recommend. So if you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to let me know. All right, guys, thanks.